Hi, this is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe. Today, I'd love to walk you through how to create your own customized email template through Aweber. Aweber is um, the autoresponder I choose. Um, so if you're not using Aweber, too bad for you, I suppose. Just joking. Um, I'm sure you can apply the same principles to create um, a custom template through whatever autoresponder you use. So here's how my email looks what my email looks like now let me tell you i'm not a coder i know very very little html um, just enough to be dangerous but really not that much i don't know any css and i was still able to create this with what aweber gave us and um, um, through some graphics that i took off my blog basically so without further ado i have a feeling that this will be a long one I am in my Aweber right now. After you log in, you go under messages and choose broadcast and then create a new broadcast message. So this is the one that I created. I titled it template because I'm going to save it and such as such. And next time I'd like to use it, I'll just copy it to my new message. Now the next step would be to choose a template that suits your website better. And um, here, as you can see, a lot of colors, a lot of templates and what not to choose from. So just browse through them and see which one you like the best. Um, since most of my colors are kind of grayish and blue, I decided to go for new web and blue and, um, blue and gray color. Um, color choice. So anyway, so this is the template loaded and uh, let's get to work. Again, I'm not a coder so what I tried to, I, I had to do a lot of trial and error and you may have to do that too but um, this video will definitely show you the gist. So first of all I need to insert my header here. So it's, it's fairly simple because all I'm going to do is just to insert an image. I deleted the top table that was in Aweber. You just find that little cross and you click on that and that's that. If you did something wrong, just click undo and uh, right there you can see it and that's about it. You know, that's how I do it. So basically um, right now I am just need to insert the header that I use on my blog so that this looks the same as my blog. I have a little cheat sheet here that has the code for me the URL for my, there it is, copy paste and we're done. And there you go. I already have a custom header. Now I just need to resize it so it fits, fits the screen a little better and that's pretty much it. So the next step is, um, as you can see, there are three sections here, which I personally don't have a need for. I keep my emails very simple and try to have as few calls to action as possible. Just works best that way. And that's it. This is the body of my email. Basically, you can customize the text to the size or font that you would like, um, whatever you would like. So this is completely up to you. I'm just playing at this point. So anyway, the important details, excuse me. So we've got the header going. Now instead of the section title, what I would do is I would say, please share the love. And I do that because I'm, I like to ask people to share my blog posts just like it is here. Let me show you. So here's my email that I sent to myself. I'm so thoughtful. And this particular email was about a blog post on banner advertising. So when I added these buttons, they, if I press on them, they will go this particular one is Facebook one. So it will add the blog URL, the post URL that I would like people to share, which makes it very easy for them to do. And the same goes for Twitter and Google Plus. So Basically, in my email template, I say share, please share the love. And then I add the buttons custom to each of my broadcasts because, as I already said, you um, I'll show you the way to add a custom URL that leads to specific posts to each of your broadcasts so people are able to share those specific posts. And um, 
Just let me show it to you right now. As a great free tool, it's called addthis.com, A-D-D-T-H-I-S.com. And um, it's, as I said, it's a free tool. You just need to uh, register. And once you're in, click on email newsletter right here. And addthis.com will ask you to install your custom URL, which you will add right here. It can be anything and um, you choose the style and um, that's it. The code is automatically generated. So now you copy and paste and again you will do this for each broadcast that you would like to be sh um, shared and as you notice this code is HTML code so we need to switch from um, the visual website um, visual editor to HTML editor and I usually just click change to classic HTML editor. Um, next we need to find the words please share the love because I need to insert my buttons right after that. And um, if you don't know what this means this is the code for my italic because I made please share the love italic so right after that code I'm going to insert my add this button and now if we go back to view you can see the buttons right here so it's very easy um, also what I like to do is I like to add them in two spots all the way up top just like I showed you and let me show you in the email right after at the bottom and I usually will say something like I understand if you don't have time to read it right now but just take a second and share this for me would you please um, something like that so as you can tell now I've got my email signature here which is also very easy to do what you do here is go to your Gmail if you're not using it you can easily create an account and there is a free add-on that's called wise stamp I know it's available for Gmail, I don't know if it's available for anything else, but as I said, it's free and it allows you to create a custom email signature. So this is what mine looks like. You can add any kind of apps or social icons here and once you're done, go to HTML editor. It'll give you the HTML code for your email signature excuse me email signature and you just copy and I usually keep it keep a copy of it um, on um, like a text document excuse me that's the wrong one on a text document um, that I can easily access like on this one so here again you will have to go to the classic HTML box HTML editor and here we're looking to insert our signature right after all the text so I'm looking for where my text ends and here it is that's the end of my text in Latin oops and I'm going to this is the end I'm going to add my oops I forgot to copy and paste I still have the add button here excuse me just one second I told you this will be long okay here I'm back let's see if this works change to graphic HTML editor it's called also called visual and there it is now I can style my signature any way I want to like delete that and that's pretty much it folks it's very very simple to do I also added the add me to your um, circle on Google Plus button right here it's again just a regular image hyperlink to my Google Plus account so pretty simple to do another thing that I would recommend to do is um, the only way people would see the graphics in this email is if their graphics are enabled and they don't have to automatically um, for the most part by default those graphics are disabled but what I do is I add this little line here that says please be sure to enable display images 
to see my amazing graphics in this email. So just try to do, to have some fun with it and most people will enable it. And also another thing what this does is it allows you to track clicks through Aweber because when you send an email through Aweber to, um, to anyone, the way Aweber knows that somebody opened your email is by inserting a little image into the email. So when somebody opens the email, Aweber knows that the image has been read and that's how the record, um, record opens. So anyway, very um, simple. You don't have to do this, obviously, um, but it's it's very helpful. So that's about it. That's the gist of it. It's um, as you can tell, this is very easy to do. Just save. Uh, save your template at the end. Um, I already have it saved and this is what mine looks like. So now every time I would I want to create a broadcast, I just go into broadcasts. I find my template. Now I have two, of course, I created two of them. Um, and I press copy and um, the, my email template will show up. And now I just customize it um, by adding the social media buttons, the message itself and whatnot. So anyway, this was Anna with Traffic Generation Cafe. I hope you learned something. This is, as you saw, very simple to do. And uh, have fun creating your own email template. Talk to you soon.